what's up everybody over at winning gaming it's winning et and today we got a gameplay it's actually brought by yours truly i know surprise surprise y'all didn't expect that <laughs> but um yeah i'm over here doing another commentary for you guys this is a k7 triple chem strike on the map free fall which is like the gameplay map like if you got a gameplay if you got like a godly gameplay it was most likely on free fall like this map size was perfect. I think it was a really good map. I know, like, I, I watched a lot of YouTube channels, and they were like, they hated this map. When you first played this map, like, it looked ugly. Like, when I first played Free Fall, I was like, what is this garbage? Like, this map is trash. And then, like, once you figure out the routes and the spots people like to go to, you know, the spots people like to camp, even the spawn traps, this map was amazing. Like, I think this map, Strike Zone, Sovereign, probably the, hands down the best three maps in Ghost. Because Ghost didn't really have a lot of good maps. I mean, we all know this. Like, Ghost was a struggle. It was like big ass maps for no reason. Playing 6v6 in this game was tough. But yeah, I got this in Hardcore, which was also a good playlist to get gameplays. Mainly because of the Ballistic Vest support cheese. Like, you just run support, get you your Ballistic Vest, and like, you have 10 times more health than everyone else you're shooting at. And this gave you a huge advantage over everybody else in the lobby. Another good thing about Hardcore, you could really use whatever gun you wanted and it do the job. Like in Core, guns like the K7, what else? The PB and J as Mark and J would like to call it. Like they were, they were, they were trash, they were ass, they were pure garbage. In Core, you could, you would not use those guns. That would not be a gun you'd be like, yo, let me go, let me use this gun, drop a triple kim in Core. And like just be a legend you know what i'm saying like you couldn't do it with those guns but in hardcore you could basically get pistols easy like pistol double kims easy um even shotguns i found were easier to use in hardcore mainly because you didn't get as much hit markers and they would they would connect long range more often than not so shotguns were actually pretty they were actually really good in hardcore i remember i almost got like a like a 90 second shotgun kim in hardcore i was like whoa that's crazy but um yeah you could use whatever you wanted and then the mini map advantage like if you if you were running satcom and you were the only one running satcom like you could see like everybody i think barely anyone ran i think it was assassin i'm pretty sure it was assassin and uh ghost because i know it was like the ghost perk in um black ops 2 yeah, it was Assassin. Barely anyone ran Assassin Hardcore, so once you got, you kept stacking on SATCOMs using the support streaks, man, you were good to go. Like, and then that would turn into an advanced UAV, and you're just seeing everybody like it's nothing. Like, you're just taking out everybody. They don't know where you're coming from because they don't have a minimap because they're not running SATCOM, which is one thing I never understood. Like, I get the worst teammates, like, running Assault in Hardcore. Like, bruh. What are you doing, my dude? Like, what are you doing, my ninja? Like, this is not the time and place for assault, my dude. <laughs> like, I be, I be going on streaks, and I don't have a SATCOM at the moment. There's no minimap, and I'm just waiting. Like, I'm just hoping somebody on my squad has a SATCOM. No one does. I get killed off a streak. Like, do you guys not understand how to play hardcore? And that's how you could separate, like, casual players from, like, pub stompers or... Or even players that like know what they're doing or understand the game mode because like anybody if you just think it through you'd realize I'd have a tactical advantage if I run SATCOM and ballistic vest even Oracle like Oracle you could see people through walls so that's definitely a key streak to use in hardcore like that's something you'd want to use in order to gain an advantage over your opponent but a lot of people don't realize that or a lot of casual players don't realize that and they're running assault they're running specialists. Like, you're not benefiting anybody, my dude. Like, at least me running support, even though I'm running it for myself, I'm benefiting the whole squad. So, like, we all gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? We all gonna be put on. Shoot, someone else might drop a Kim because I'm running Ballistic Vest and SATCOM. So, like, I'm helping out everybody. Because in Hardcore, it was way easier to get smacked up. Like, if the other team's running the support streaks, like they should, like our team should, like, they're most likely going to win. Like, if you're the only dude trying to get your Kim running the support streaks, you most likely will get smacked up. Like, you're not going to get that win, bro. Like, if you're a person that plays for the win, hardcore probably isn't for you because your teammates 
are probably dumb so that's just a word of advice like expect to lose but yeah this is just some information like if you plan on playing hardcore ghosts i'm not even sure like too many people even still play ghosts last time i checked the last time i tried to get a game in it was like eight thousand people on total like in all game modes <laughs> i was like damn this game is dead but you know that's all i gotta say i mean to the boss one in et Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out. Peace. Out.